It was also homecoming today in Caldwell for the College of Idaho Yotes. Uh, let's jump into these highlights. It was a sea of purple at Simplot Stadium as the number one ranked Yotes hosted Montana Tech for homecoming night. They're still looking to stay perfect on the season, and they're off to a great start. The Yotes defense has been a force to be reckoned with. Dylan Martinez cuts through the O-line. Big tackle for loss on third down, and the Yotes are a tough team to run the ball against. When they get the ball back, check this out. The jet sweep, that's wide receiver John Schofield taking the handoff. He's been getting some touches in the run game. This turned into one of the biggest explosive plays of the half, 31 yards, and uh, not much else was working for them offensively, but luckily the defense is there to bail them out. Keegan Croto coming in with the pass breakup. And you know when you can't run against the Yotes, you got to throw against them. And that is a pass rusher's dream. Same drive, third down. The quarterback looking to make something happen. Ryan Seth gets the sack. And that loss of yardage would make it a lot harder on the kicker. They go on to miss it. Keep this a 7-0 lead for Montana Tech. But when the defense was really taking care of business, eventually the offense started rolling. And the final 17 seconds of the game, Hunter Gilbert scored on a 22-yard rushing touchdown to take a 27-24 lead. That's how the score would end, would stay in this one. Uh, probably the biggest win of the season so far for the Yotes. They're, uh, they're off to an incredible start. Uh, hopefully BSU can show uh, some similar magic tonight and get the big win on their homecoming. We'll be back on Bronco Roundup pregame right after this.